thank you for joining us today. So on June 5th, there was an article in the New England Journal of Medicine describing 12 rectal cancer patients who were treated with a PD-1 inhibitor and had all a complete response. It's pretty amazing, very, very exciting. I want to explain a little bit about that. Of course, you know, sometimes it's not always as good as it seems, but one of the things that these patients had was that they had something called mismatch repair deficiency. And so what does that really mean? And this is something that for all cancer patients you should always be checking this. Every time that a patient has a biopsy for their cancer, this is something you should look at the PDL1 status, you should look at mutational burden, and you can look, should look at mismatch repair deficiency. And so this is where when the DNA is copying and a mistake is made, so a base pair is put in wrong, it stops and it fixes. So think of this like a spell check. And so if you were typing on your computer and you wanted to copy a page out of a book, and if you use spell check, then you know that you should spell things right, and your page should be pretty much exactly like it would be in the book. And that means that they would match and that means for when you're talking about this, how does this affect things with the immune system? Well, the immune system is looking for differences. So when the cancer is copying the DNA, if it has more mistakes, then those mistakes can be picked up by the immune system, making that cancer more sensitive to immunotherapy. And so that's what these patients had. Unfortunately, you know, in most cancers, this is actually felt fairly rare. And, uh, and it's the same in this situation. But again, certainly something that should be checked on all patients. And again, this gives us a lot of excitement. Uh, we know that immunotherapy can work, and we know it can work in a lot of patients, and we know that more patients need the opportunity to be given immunotherapy. Um, but how, how do you equalize the playing field for the people who don't have this, which is the majority of patients? Well, there are different techniques. One, of course, is using certain drugs that affect DNA repair. So you can try to block some of the repair mechanisms and make the cancer more receptive. The other is injecting things into the tumor, like what we do. We inject immunotherapy drugs directly into the tumor, attracting the immune system to the cancer, making it more sensitive, so that you can make these cancers that normally would not respond, now they can potentially respond. And so th this is the work that we're doing. We're trying to you know, bring these type of results that you see in, in like this study with the New England Journal of Medicine, but to bring it to more patients. Um, and I think we're very close on this and we're gonna see better and better results. Certainly this is overall very exciting for the immunotherapy community and certainly for patients who have uh, cancer that has mismatch repair, particularly those rectal cancer patients, and they're being saved a uh, tremendous amount of surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, and I think we can bring this to all cancer patients in the near future. I thank you for your attention.